Hello and welcome to the ninth and hopefully final video in the DV Wrapper series. Um, this video should be fairly quick. Um, we're just going to, right now, if I run the find method, I'm getting back an array of objects. But there's times when we just want one object back and we don't necessarily want it inside of an array. We just want that object. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a find first method. And it's going to be super, super simple because we've already done all the hard work. We wrote this read function here, or this read method, and we've written this find method. So the find first method is going to be super, super fast. So let's get going. So it's going to take the same two parameters, um, table being the first, and then params. And we will pass that an empty array by default. Um, and then what we want to do is just say if this underscore read table params, okay, return this results. And then we're just going to return the first element of that array because it's only ever going to be one. Else we're going to return false. That's it um, for that. The find first method I told you is going to be super, super fast because it's essentially the same as the find except for we're adding this uh, first element of this array. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like to use. So we're gonna, if I just refresh now actually I need to change this to a find first and we refresh uh, what did I do wrong results so underscore that's a private property so even though we have more than one uh, row in our database it's just returning the first element and you can see it's not wrapped in an array it's just an object um, so let's just say for instance I want to do, say contact and I want to get from the contacts table where um, conditions conditions are going to be L name equal to this and F name is going to be equal to this, and um, also say bind and we'll put RM Tony. Refresh the page. change that to single contact and we can see that we get Tony Parham back um, so that is working correctly find first co from contacts conditions L name and F name uh, and then we're binding those parameters uh, let's go ahead and just for fun test this with um, sending conditions of uh, an array so that will be L name equals, and then the second one, oops, F name equals. Fresh it, and same thing. If I just change this one to Curtis, refresh it, and now you get the other ID. So, what's cool about this now? is I could actually just do something like, so here's how you would use this. Um, I could say echo contact f name concatenate on contact 
hotel name. And if I refresh the page, Curtis Barham, I change this to Tony. We could also do something like this concatenate all in a space and then contact email. Boom. There we go. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, what's what's really sweet about this is we've taken something, you know, that can be kind of a pain in the butt to write, and really by creating a database wrapper, well, we've made the connection. Um, we've returned a singleton of that database object, and we have uh, shortened our amount of code that we need to write for the rest of our applications. Um, and this will work on all of your applications that are using PHP and PDO. Um, you can use this gives us the basic CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete. And we can also pass more complex queries with using our, uh, our public method, query method. But we, we have find, find first, count, last ID. Um, so I hope that has been helpful. If it has, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I don't know how often I'll be able to upload videos, but um, as I can, I will. And like I said, all you subscribers, as soon as I do get the social media networking site tutorial built, um, I'm going to be uploading that one to Udemy, and I hope to give all of you guys free coupons to that, because I know I originally said I was going to do this on YouTube, but um, if I'm going to spend that much time doing a, a course, I think, you know, I can make a little money on Udemy um, and make it worth it for my wife and my family. Um, but I don't know when that's going to happen, you know, with everything I got going on and, you know, my dad's health and everything. So anyhow, I hope this has been helpful and I will see you guys hopefully sometime soon. Have a wonderful day.